Well, I'm uh, looking through the internet right now, and uh, an interesting thought comes to mind. Uh, I see here that we have a uh, sort of a, a new development with Facebook. It seems that in an effort to be all inclusive and to be acceptable to everyone, just like our federal government, they have expanded their uh, gender options uh, when putting in your personal information. Uh, it's no longer male and female. You now have about 50 different choices uh, under gender options. And uh, you know, this goes right in line with what I have been saying all along is that uh, we have become a society globally that no longer identifies who they are. Uh, we have become a society that uh, sees no reason, uh, sees no uh, resolution in overcoming your own problem. On the contrary, we have become a society that embraces and emulates, magnifies our own individual problem and enforces everybody else to accept that as who they are forever. Uh, this development completely blows me away. Um, you know, as I'm looking on the list here from Facebook, you know, you've got 50 things on here that are nothing but gibberish garbage. Are you a male or are you a female? Uh, look at this. We got crap on here called agender, androgene. Androgynous, bi gender, cis, 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 FPM, gender. Fl what is this garbage? There's even one on here where um, you were born a male or a female, but later in life you identify as the other. What is this crap? Um. What we are doing here is we are putting out for everyone to see what our own personal problem is. If I am a male but identify myself as a female, what business is that of yours? How, and also how, uh, how is that placing me in a box to hide myself from the world? By not being able to put that on Facebook. This is crap. Male or female, it's 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 a simple thing. You don't need to identify which one of these 50 categories because actually none of them pertain to your gender. Every one of them pertains to a personal problem that you're overcoming. There should be a, uh, a gender option on there. Um, I'm male but I identify as something else because I love using my credit card too much. There's all kinds of garbage on here. And what does this tell about our world? What does this tell about our society? It tells volumes. It shows that we are fully an entitlement-minded society. We are entitled to equal rights. We are entitled to
have everyone accept not only who we are, but who we think we are. If if uh, I'm a young person and I don't like green beans, but mom says you eat your green beans, it used to be that you would learn to eat your green beans. Later on, you may reject them, but you learn to eat them. But nowadays, it's the heck with you, screw you, I'm not eating them. There's no respect, there's no learning, there's no change. Uh, and it's, this is the exact same, same thing here. You know, I, I really don't care if later in life you uh, identify yourself as the other gender. Well, that's, that's your personal problem, not mine. And it is a matter of personal pride to be able to want to post that as a gender option on Facebook because that is looking for attention. That is looking uh, to invite someone to look at that option and say, oh, hey, what is that? How's it going? Tell me, tell me uh, what it's like to um, be a man, but you really think you're a woman. All right, tell, tell me what that uh, feels like. And, uh, that's that's the root of temptation, is it not? To invite someone into your own personal problem opens the door in their mind to other options in how they live their life. And I, I wonder how long this is going to uh, take before this enters vital parts of society, namely the military. How long will it be before there's a massive lawsuit uh, sent? Uh, I want to be in the military, but I am not a male. I am not a female. I am a... I am a... Let's pick something out. I am a two-spirit. Well, if you're a two-spirit, does that mean you want double the compensation in the military? Come on, get over it. Uh, you know, this this kind of crap really infuriates me because um, it, it requires no personal accountability. It requires no personal um, striving to change. It requires no personal uh, advancement of learning. All this does is eventually legislate to everyone in the world to accept, not accept you, but accept who you think you are. I think about uh, depression, okay? You know, for me, if I am feeling down uh, and I know I can't accomplish my full potential, somebody else says I can, why the heck would I put on the internet as far as my mental status, if they have one, why would I put on their uh, terminal underachiever? Wow, isn't this the exact same thing? What is wrong with identifying yourself as a male or female? And if you have a 
problem identifying what is what, you can look on any, uh, you know, look on the internet, see what a male and a female is. It uh, not too not too hard. It's uh, usually something that's learned even from uh, kindergarten or before that. But uh, you know, I, I I am no longer on Facebook. I got rid of that back in August. I am still living, still breathing, and I see no reason for anyone to put under uh, gender uh, gender fluid gender variant, gender queer, intersex, MTF, trans person. And these are all inner things that an individual is dealing with. And it isn't my uh, responsibility or right to inflict that upon somebody else. And so, you know, I would just, and I really don't give a crap how many people don't like my opinion on this. It doesn't matter. But I would just uh, encourage everyone to take a closer uh, look inside of yourself and ask yourself what kind of a society we have become, become where we have to legislate the acceptance of of people who those people think they are. And I term that very carefully because it is easy to say to legislate people to accept who people are. And that is bullcrap because it goes a step further. It's not who they are, it's who they think they are. That would be just like in the earlier scenario, that'd be like... Uh, me uh, insisting the legislation of people to accept that I am an underachiever that keeps you there that gives me the uh, domain the maximum fake happiness of saying okay that's the bubble that I cannot go beyond so once I reach that bubble, I am ultimately happy. There's no growth beyond that. See, what that actually does, when you legislate people to accept who you think you are, you are purposely and willfully putting boundaries around you which you cannot go beyond. Okay? It's just like when you are a child. Mom and dad says, okay, here's your boundaries. This is what we expect of you. We expect you to do uh, the dishes now and then. Expect you to do your homework on time. Get to bed early. And uh, and that's what you're doing uh, here. Is You are purposely placing a boundary in order to satisfy yourself. But that satisfaction is fake. Because that boundary is something that you can no longer go beyond. You can no longer learn it. When you put on there that you are a cisgender female, people are going to know you as a cisgender female. And, uh, you know, later on I assume you can put it as female or male once you straighten yourself out. But uh, you're still marked. You still have that barrier. Again, I don't care who or what uh, people's ideas on this are, but it is my uh, personal feeling that we are headed down a very dangerous path as a society where we no longer um, have a rule of, of law and order. And how much further can it go when we don't even know if we are male? or if we're female. 